Okay, it is Wednesday, March 13th. It is baby day. So I am dropping Jackson it's five off. five in the morning. <laughs> no, it's almost six in the morning. No, it's five. That clock, that clock's wrong. It's daylight oh. savings. Oh. So. Oh, dang it, I forgot my watch. We are just heading right over to the next house. I'm actually just driving Jackson over. Um, it's super dark sleep. out. Um, but today is baby day, so we are heading to the hospital here after I drop Jackson off. Sorry about the lighting. So Jackson, what are you most excited about? Well, Let me turn see the, light the on baby maybe. finally. Mommy not being scared and tearing that baby all around everywhere because I remember the time that she could have fallen down the stairs and we had to guide her down there. Right, yeah. She's got that big old belly that she knocks into everything. Yep, we're excited. Next time you see mommy, she'll have a baby in her hand. Okay, I love you, buddy. Hi. I will see you Sunday. And we'll be FaceTiming you today. Okay, blur out that kiss. Or at least take it out of the video. Mm -mm. Go to Hannah's. Love you. Okay. I love you. All right, so. Uh, last time I talked to you guys, it was uh, me dropping off Jackson. Again, it's March 13th. It's 6.05, so we are five minutes late because of me. So, Shannon, it's baby day. How do you feel? Well, now I'm a little perturbed because it's 6.05 <laughs> and we just left the driveway. But other than that, I'm fine. Yep, that'd be my fault. Um, she had a checklist for me. Um, I just decided to wing it, and that was not a good decision. Um, I'd say I got about 90% of the things we needed. I don't know. I, I, we'll find I, out. <laughs> I don't know. What else are you feeling? Um, so far, normal. Good, excited. Excited? You look beautiful. Thank you. Mm -hmm. <laughs> um, just ready. I'm good to go. You're good to go. Good to go. <laughs> Look at if we, yeah, you can't see that belly. There's that belly. That's the last time we'll see that big old belly. Okay, so we will uh, keep you guys updated with updates. You're nervous. Yep. <laughs> I don't know how to hit. Hi guys. So it is 7 a.m. and they've got Shannon hooked up here. Let's see if you can see the IV. That was a little difficult. Um, did they have trouble or was it just painful? Um, it wasn't painful, but they had just a little bit of trouble. It, I mean, it didn't hurt at all, but I still got lightheaded and freaked out a little. Right. And now the worst part's over, so. Yeah, it mm -hmm. is, though. That's mm -hmm. what I was dreading the most. Mm -hmm. So they've got you hooked up here. They've got this thing here. What is that exactly? This is for contractions, and then this one is for his heartbeat. Okay, and if I can swing this over here, I'll show you the little guy's heartbeat. I'm still learning how to use this camera. I probably switch it around. So yeah, he's at 132 for a heartbeat. Yeah. So he's been fluctuating between 120 and 130. So, how you feeling? Anything changed? Nope, still feel fine. Ready for breakfast? So they're gonna bring her breakfast because technically she's not induced yet, so. Okay, it is 9 a.m. and look how beautiful she looks. Yeah, she's stunning. <laughs> so, update from 7 a.m., they started you on Pitocin? Yes, at like 7.30. And they've already increased it at least once. This mm -hmm. Once this hour, yeah. maybe twice, I don't remember. Oh, I think that means it's time to increase it. I don't know. Okay. <laughs> okay, update from earlier. So it is, what, 9.30 now? It's 9.07. Oh, hey, there's a clock <laughs> up there. Gosh. So they just upped your dosage of Pitocin again. You're up to what now? Six. Six milliliters per hour, per I think. Per minute or something. I think it's per hour. Is what I don't know. Is. I'm pretty sure it's mm. per minute. What does this say right here, guys? Yep, milliliters per hour. Okay, All just right. making sure. Okay, so you've got some contractions. Um, they're subtle still, manageable. Yeah, very tolerable. Okay, um, any other feelings? Or? Um, the doctor wanted to break my water already. I said no way. 
Yeah, so he came in and had a conversation. He said, uh, why don't you want me to break your water? And you said... I don't, I don't want it. <laughs> <laughs> he had some it good hurt, reason. It hurts after your water breaks. And I went by so well. I made so much progress with Jackson without having my water broken that I want to do that again. Right. Um, if I'm not progressing on my own, which is contractions and Pitocin, then I'll consider breaking my water. But right now, it's way too early. I haven't right. even, we, I mean, they only checked me once I got here. We haven't even seen if I've made any progress on my own yet. Right. So I didn't want to do that just right off the bat. Right. I think he was worrying that um, like it wouldn't progress yeah, maybe as quickly as you were thinking. Time, yeah. Right. And he's like, hey, I've got a life. I need to go <laughs> yeah. home, you know, at some point. Yeah, but right. with Jackson, I was induced the exact same way and my water broke on its own and the entire process only took like 11 and a half hours from when I got there. I don't even know when they started me on Pitocin, yeah. but I got to the hospital at 6 a.m. and he was born by 5.30 right. and he was my first. So again, this time I got to the hospital at 6 a.m. and I'm doing the same medication and everything. So, and it's, you know, not my first labor. So maybe right. I'm hoping it'll go by just as fast, but maybe even faster. And I think he was just worried that I was gonna take a long time. Right, yeah, and she responded really well, almost the, like instantly when they first give you the Pitocin. Yes. So that's a good sign. Yeah, I, I was a little worried. I, I wasn't worried, I just knew it was an option that um, the induction wouldn't take. You know, my body mm -hmm. wouldn't respond to the Pitocin and they'd send me home because that's a, a possibility, but it, I'm responding. So yep. I was at least happy about that. Yep. Okay, we will keep you guys updated. Okay, so it is 10.30 and there is the angel right there. Um, they've upped her Pitocin levels to, I don't know if you can see that, 12 milliliters per hour. Um, she's resting right now, but uh, she said that they're um, more intense, but not necessarily more frequent. So um, we'll just see how it goes. They're gonna continue to um, up the dosage two milliliters every 30 minutes. Okay. Okay guys, so it is about one o'clock in the afternoon. Um, Shannon's moved to a comfy chair. Um, she's a little restless right now. So yeah. do you want to give everybody an update on where you're at? I'm on 18 mils of Pitocin now. They max you out at 20, so I'm like almost there. And they're coming faster. Contractions are definitely like just a couple minutes apart. They haven't broken my water yet, so it's not too intense, but I can definitely tell a difference mm -hmm. between now and the when they started me on it. He checked on you and you're not really dilated anymore. Yeah, anymore. I haven't made right. any progress. And I was kind of upset about that because <laughs> he really wants to break my water and I really don't want him to. Right. So he's coming back in like an hour to right. see if I've made any more progress. And hopefully by then, since I'm like maxed out almost on Pitocin now, mm -hmm. hopefully I can at least show some promise and he'll hold off a little longer for me. Right. Yeah, I think it's going to work out. I think we're going to have a baby by... Five or six o'clock. That's my what guess. I was guessing too. Okay. I hope I don't jinx us. So. Yeah. Okay. Well, we'll see how things go. Okay. It's about two o'clock in the afternoon, and you can see my beautiful wife here bouncing on her ball. Um, I want to go ahead and give them the update. I'm maxed out on Pitocin now. I'm at 20, and I'm just trying to make some progress since last time I got checked. I didn't make any progress. I'm trying to bounce on this ball and try and, I don't know, speed things along so I can hold off him breaking my water as soon as, I mean, as long as possible. Because right. I feel like if, if I still haven't made any progress by this third check, he's going to want to do that. Right. So I'm trying really hard for some She's progress. bouncing as hard and as fast as she can. <laughs> as, as hard and fast as I'll allow me to. Right, right. So we'll continue this for, I don't know how long they want to keep you just on this 20 milliliters probably, before he comes in and yeah, checks you. Probably just until he gets back here. Right. 
So once he comes back and uh, checks on her, we'll uh, give you guys an update. <laughs> hey guys, it is three o'clock in the afternoon now, and we've got another update for you guys. <laughs> I'm ending out that last. <laughs> 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 Yeah, so third check of the day, still no progress. It's been like eight hours. So I'm gonna go ahead and have him break my water. So we're getting all ready. I'm brushing my hair before it gets a tangled mess. Mm -hmm. I've got Derek got with hair a hair tie, tie at hand and you know, we're preparing. Yeah. Because it's where the fun stuff starts. It's after your water breaks, so. Right, so it's gonna get intense. Yeah. So, so I'm still at a two. Which, when I had Jackson, I don't know how dilated I was when my water broke. Um, but I, I feel like a two, you just still have so long to go. And when they broke my, or when my water broke with Jackson, I was only in labor for an hour and a half. And I feel like since I still have so far to go, I'm gonna be in active labor for like five hours. So we're just preparing for the worst. But. She's a tough one, she'll get through it, and if she needs to yell at me, curse at me, that's fine. I've been told um, by two people that my cervix is super soft. So hopefully so, that's uh, helpful. Yeah, so we think that it's just not dilating because baby's not low enough to right. do it, but right. it should be, you know, ripe and ready for, for when he is low enough. Right, yep. <laughs> so yeah, um, the doctor will be in soon. Um, He'll check her, I assume, and then uh, the fun will get started. Yep. Okay. Okay, lighting's a little lower because it's been a couple hours, but we have him. Yep, can you see It's pretty guy? darn dark out, so yeah. <laughs> we'll get a better angle, but um, yeah, we didn't update you since I was uh, letting the doctor go ahead and break my water. We didn't update you because he broke my water at 3.30 and I went from 2 centimeters at 3.30 to 10 centimeters at 4.30 and he was born. <laughs> so, so there was no time to update. Um, as soon as he broke my water, I, I was more open to the idea of an epidural. And <clears throat> um, because I was like, there's no way. Like I have so far to go. I'm only 2 centimeters. I'm not gonna make it like this is hurting so I, I started to become open to the idea I was never closed off on the idea but my thought was I've done it before without it I can do it again so um, I was starting to hurt and it had been 10 minutes since my water broke and that, they checked me and I was already at a five <laughs> so I was like there's no way we don't have time <laughs> and um, so I did get in the bath a little bit and that helped until I was over it. I was in there for maybe 10 minutes and um, yeah the doctor said once he broke my water I, I asked him to give me an estimate of when he thinks this baby's gonna be born and he said close to midnight probably and I was like that's not happening. I mean there's there's no way <laughs> but I got really really sad when he said that um, just because I'm like there's no way I can do this for another seven hours, eight hours mm -hmm. at that point. Um, so I was so happy when I got checked and I was already dilated. Basically a half a centimeter a minute. Like every contraction was like a centimeter dilation. Um, and yeah, that's all I have to say. What do you have to say? Uh, <laughs> so it, much. Um, why don't you come close to me? It's just the window in the background. Yeah, I know. But can I, you sit? No? I can't really sit because it's armrest. I can you come. Pull this into. Like this? Okay, so you can see the little guy. Yeah. He's sleeping. So, yeah, like she said, at 325, I checked my cell phone. That's when uh, the doctor came in and broke her water, and immediately I could see that she was in pain. And the contractions were so quick and intense, it was like all hands on deck it was crazy yeah. and um, you were so tough because when they initially broke your water um, you're like this is very painful you know I don't know if I can do this and they're like well do you want an epidural and you're like 
um, let's just wait. And then five minutes later, you're like, nope, not doing it. Mm -hmm. Through all that pain, you, know, you were just amazing. And like to push at the end the way you did, it was just amazing. I don't know, the whole process was amazing. And then to see his, his gooey little head <laughs> pop out, I just yeah. like, wait a second, a human being popped out of my wife. <laughs> and it was just, it was surreal. You know, to see the doctor holding our baby and then him giving you the baby, you know, mm -hmm. and just all the nurses congratulating us. It's just all so surreal. So, yeah, it's been a special evening. Can you do a close-up on him? Yeah. Uh-oh. Oh, no. Yeah, he didn't want the close-up. No. Hey, guys, it is March 14th, um, 8 a.m. So, um... It's been a long night. Um, Shannon, you want to kind of tell them about it? Um, well, around, we were doing fine, and he was so awake after birth for like two and a half hours, just awake and content and staring and looking around and just like not fussy at all or anything. And he fed really well and, and slept really well and everything. and. And through the night, he he was never upset or anything like that, but he had another one of those where he just wanted to be awake for another two and a half hours and stare and look around. And it was at like, you know, two in the morning. So around, when was it really, like three? It was almost three o'clock, yeah. Yeah, we eventually passed him off to the nurses and um, we're the only, well, we were the only baby people here right now, so. Mm -hmm. I'm, huh? Hello. <laughs> I'm sure the nurses did not mind getting to, you know, cuddle a baby for a little bit. I'm sure they love right. that. So it's one of the best parts of being an OB nurse, I would think. So, um, so we eventually handed him off, and he came back in to nurse. Uh, a couple of times. Um, Once at 4.30 and then again at 7 this morning. Yeah, yeah, so mm -hmm. so at the 4.30 feeding, um, they took him back again so he could get another couple hours of rest. And then he's been with us since 7.30, should we say? Uh, yeah, somewhere around there, 7.15 when they brought him back in. Yep, so, um, that's I mean, that's about it. Yep. <laughs> we'll go home today. I can't wait. Yeah, he's, uh, he looks exactly like his mom. So far, he's acting exactly like me, whiny, fussy, <laughs> hungry. <laughs> he's not at all. <laughs> but he's cute. Maybe I can get a close-up here. Yeah, hi, bud. Yeah. Got hair so long I can tuck it behind his ears. Right. Hey guys, so this is the last update. So we've been interrupted several times. We had to move rooms. Um, we had to uh, get an update from the pediatrician. Is that what it is? Okay. Um, so just to wrap this video up, our boy is, is uh, happy and healthy. Um, sometimes not so happy, but um, he's amazing. He's beautiful. We're having troubles with him um, eating a little bit, but uh, we'll get there. I think we're going to see a lactation specialist here in a little while. So, um, just he's, he's got it. He's just not confident in himself. It's like he second guesses himself. So. Right, right. He did really well initially yesterday, but it's like now he's not so he's, sure. Yeah, he's uncertain what right. to do. So, you know, we're going to stay here and probably most of the day and they're going to do some additional testing on him um, just to make sure he doesn't have jaundice and typical uh, labs sure yeah. sure so and then we'll go home and spend our first night together fingers crossed so okay see you guys <laughs>